there's a lot of talk on social media about the severe weather threat facing the southern plains today so we'll talk about our role in that as well as when we can expect more storms right now not storms on the radar just some spotty showers you can see some of those in Navarro County there and you can see just little spotty showers popping up here and there as much moisture as we have in the atmosphere it's no surprise at all that we see that and fortunately though we have a cap over us which should limit thunderstorm development later today but We'll get into the details on that a little later. Right now, the visible satellite, plenty of clouds, low-level clouds across north-central Texas here. And off to the west, you can see some of the energy coming off of that storm system. I'm not worried about this right now. Right now, I'm focused on the fact that we could have a passing shower, possibly an elevated thunderstorm or two, uh, in not severe or anything like that, but could see some of that early in the day. Uh, later on in the day, we could see a storm or two that, again, isn't able to do much but I think our chances for severe weather will be greatly diminished by the fact that we have that cap in place and we don't exactly have the kind of setup that they do northwest of us. Now for temperatures today, we're above normal, 84, 85 with a normal of 81. Overnight tonight, well above normal, 70 to 71 with a normal of 61. So as usual, those clouds and that humidity will help us hold in some of that daytime heating so they won't see much of a variation, uh, not quite as much of a variation as we could see in those temperatures overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Medium range for our pollen today. Again, we'll take that over the high range, but I know that a lot of you are still struggling with that so it is spring and as I always say with this part of the segment it is what it is we just have to have, have to kind of deal with that in North Texas now here's where things get interesting and this is what we're looking at for today a couple of things that I want to show you first is today's system a cold front to the west a very stout dry line and for us a stout cap now you go further to the north and to the northwest in Oklahoma there, they are looking at an extraordinary risk of severe weather today. We're talking probably the highest risk of tornadoes I've seen, I think at least this season. So very, very dangerous situation there, but for us, we do have a cap that should keep a lid, yes, pun intended, on any storm development today. Now, that said, it is a conditional risk that we have for strong to severe storms here because if we can get some updrafts to punch through that cap, and they'd have to be pretty strong to do so, but they could, we could see one, two, maybe if something extraordinary happens, three storms across our area, I expect the cap to hold in general. So it's going to be up to those storms to punch through the cap and to have strong enough updrafts, but if they do, they could easily and very quickly become severe. Now further to the northwest in the Pacific Northwest here we have our next system that will be moving in Wednesday, Thursday. That will give us a better chance for severe weather in our particular area. So let's get into kind of a day by day here. Here's that risk in parts of Oklahoma and Kansas here. That is a high risk. You don't see that very often and there's a reason for that but the setup is just too perfect out there for a very high risk of possibly a tornado outbreak out there today. Now, for us, you notice that we have a slight risk that goes down to parts of our area, Collin, Denton counties, but all the way down towards where we are, just a, a really marginal risk and a slight possibility of really seeing anything at all because the cap is in place. Now, that said, as I mentioned, if we do see storms that pop up in our particular area today, and here's that marginal risk, if we do see that, they would probably pop up to our west and move in. If they can maintain that strength and continue to stay organized and stay strong, we could see some fairly severe weather in our area, but it's just not very likely that we're going to get those storms popping through the cap. So it's really not looking very promising for those severe storms. Now we get into Wednesday's period, we do have a better chance of storms in our area. You see we're in the slight risk, we have that enhanced risk up in the Arklatex. For our area though, I'm not expecting a whole lot at this moment, but we're also still a couple of days away. This could change. So we're going to have to keep an eye on this, and this will be dry line storms moving in our area. So uh, the cold front won't move until Thursday, and that's where we have our next, uh, excuse me, our next risk of severe weather. This one, I'm curious to see how this may change as we go, because the front will be moving in, and it looks like storms will start to develop in our area and then continue southward. So 
we're kind of on the fringes here, which means this could be moved southward more towards Waco and the hill country, or could be pushed northward and could give us a better chance. So we're still several days away from Thursday, so that could change as well, and the timing will probably change too. For Wednesday, I'm looking at probably somewhere around four, five, six o'clock to see those storms developing. And again, a couple of days away, so we'll see if those will, will uh, excuse me, be developing close to here or farther to the west. Again, all of that can change our outlook. But for Thursday, just keep in mind, Earlier in the day, we could be looking at some storms, but it's a cold front. We gotta wait and see how that thing approaches to fix that timeline, which will affect our risk for severe storms. So let's put all of this together in the seven day forecast here. I just have a 20% chance of storms today. Not looking at much of a chance at all. We could see one or two, and that'll be one or two across North Central Texas. So the likelihood of it coming through your neighborhood, even if it does develop, is pretty slim but we'll be watching it. 84 degrees today, it will be breezy today, breezy again tomorrow. We're getting close to 90 here, folks. Pretty warm temperatures, and that's part of what's gonna be fueling that chance of storms on Wednesday. About a 40% chance there. I'm not willing to go above the 50 mark yet. I still wanna kinda of see how that thing shapes out. But we do get cooler on Thursday, that cold front will be coming in. The timing of the front will probably help us decide the severe weather threat and really the storm chances in general for our area. But we stay breezy, stay windy, frankly. It looks like Wednesday and Thursday could be windier days. Temperatures in the low 80s. And then the good news is for the weekend here, look at this, northeast winds here, breezy northeast winds, 70s. And we should be getting at least some drier conditions, I think at least for Friday here, not quite as muggy, we'll take that. Now our next system looks to arrive, yes of course, as they have lately on the weekend. Not much confidence here in either way. Right now it looks like a late Saturday, early Sunday situation like we've had a lot recently, but uh, it's hard to say how long the rain will last. Is this gonna be one of these ride spread rains? Doesn't look like it Wednesday or Thursday, but the weekend, we're still too far out to really know the infinite details of what we're going to look at that look at there. So just keep in mind that we do have cooler temperatures, but we could be looking at more storms Saturday night, early Sunday, but we will refine that timeline as we get closer. Today, you're gonna hear a lot of talk about the severe weather possibilities, but just remember that here we are capped and it's fairly unlikely that we will see anything. Tuesday looks calm. Wednesday, we could see storms in the afternoon and evening. Some of those could be strong to severe. Thursday, we're looking at a severe weather risk, but we still kind of have to see how that timeline works out to know the details there. So stay tuned to South Metro Weather. More updates are to come throughout the day and the rest of the week.